Hey, hello YouTube. I'm Karan from India, and in this video, we're gonna talk about how to use Darkbox, the batch server, in your batch programs. Batch server is a quite of new concept in batch programming. That the reason we have needed this batch server because every time we are calling any batch plugin from our batch script, the CMD has to call the plugin externally and then after executing the input or commands given to the plugin the plugin has gone externally out and the code of the co code of the your batch program keeps on running and every time you need to call the plugin the batch program will call it again and again so it is a quite time consuming process while in a batch server you just need to start the server first with your batch program by providing your batch file inside the server and then your echo command is get enhanced and you can choose it for multiple purpose and this makes your batch program much faster for example we are analyzing the sky.bat file provided by the tsnake the darkbox is created by tsnake and he has provided some test files so this is the standard method to start the darkbox server what you need to do is these this is these are the lines to check if the server is once started or not because you have only you have you need to start the server only once and because for the, for the first time for the first time when the f program come across this line that if defined underscore underscore then it will go to a sky then it means the control jumps to the this module otherwise it will define the underscore and then it will start the server for once and end the script after the starting the server the echo command got enhanced and you can see that here echo minus 256a is a special case for printing all the sky variables with the sky numbers so that they all got printed at once let's see the output of this patch program as you can see the moment i double clicked on it all the characters of the sky let's letter table are already printed on the console so the plugin or the server is quite fast and this is how you can use darkbox in your batch programs just need to start the server once and then according to your need you have to write the specified parameters in front of the echo command and they will got executed on the console screen to end the server you need to write minus q and this will quit the server from your batch code otherwise next of your batch programs will behave differently than usual so the benefit of using darkbox are many for example the speed of the batch program got tremendously fast and the code becomes quite smaller as compared to if you need to use here badbox or any other pg.exe or plugins they will make the code slower and lengthier on the other hand with the help of darkbox the code becomes quite smaller and thus the darkbox replaces most of the other batch plugins and there is no need of calling any external batch plugin all of the things are going internally in the batch file which means your code is running eff efficiently and faster i think this is all you got to know to use darkbox in your batch programs if you got any doubt please comment i will try to help you out please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching bye bye